Here is what you missed this morning on the Catholic Morning Show. Of ten, he's the author of ten books, a mobile eye doctor, president of the nonprofit Extraordinary Mission. He and his wife Kristen, along with their five children, lead the Dragon Slayers Sacramental Retreat, helping families to grow in faith. In 2021, it was uh, it was that was a finalist for the Our Sunday Visitor Catholic Innovation Challenge, and inspired the Seven Deadly Dragons book series. Doctor John Wood is passionate about helping others become saints. In his free time, he enjoys playing sports, eating beef, jerky, and slaying dragons. Uh, uh, sounds like my new best friend. Let's, let's go to him right now. <laughs> Dr. John Wood, good morning, sir. Good morning. Oh, and, and should I say, you, Sir Roland Paterlot? Am, uh, am, am I getting <laughs> that name correct? Sir Roland Paterlot. Yeah, actually, Roland's my, Roland's my middle name, so that's kind of where that came from. And, uh, yeah, Paterlot, uh, you know, Pater means father, so... It's a cool name for dragon slaying. So yeah, that's my pen name for the book. Oh, well done, well done. So let's uh, first of all let's let's kind of talk about the, uh, uh, the this dragon slayers sacramental retreat, if you don't mind. I, I'm very intrigued sure. by this and uh, sort of how that came about and and uh, you know how do people find out about the, that experience before we get into the book itself? Yeah. So. Um, so a lot of people may, might uh, remember me from, uh, I'm actually, I have a book out called Ordinary Lives, Extraordinary Mission from Dynamic Catholic. And so that book has over a quarter million copies kind of floating around the United States and gave me lots of opportunities to travel and speak and do parish missions. But I felt like I wasn't really reaching my target audience of young parents. I wanted to reach my own generation. I have five kids myself, and my wife, she's a second grade catechist, and we, I kind of discovered, you know, she does a retreat every year. and. Um, you know, we just like, man, all these parents show up for second grade, even if they're not engaged or they're not involved really in the parish. They just they want their kid to receive First Communion. So I figured, you know, if that's where they're coming and that's where we have an opportunity to inspire them, um, let's build a world-class retreat uh, in second grade. Almost every parish does one. So um, it's really taken off over the last five or six years. We developed this uh, about three-hour retreat called Dragon Sayers for parents and their second grade kids. Um, it's a lot of fun. We've uh, like an hour version of you know talking about the seven deadly dragons, which is really an examination of conscience and helping kids understand their their dragons, which are sins, temptations, obstacles, becoming saints. And then and then I get an hour an opportunity while the kids do a breakout. I, I get to speak directly with parents and inspire them to be primary educators and give them resources and tools to pass the faith on to their kids. So we do about 25 uh, retreats almost every weekend through the school year in um, three different dioceses here um, around northwest Ohio and southern Michigan. So um, it's been a great blessing. Uh, We reach about 3,000 families a year doing that where we get to encounter them and give them all kind of fun resources. Is there any plan to uh, sort of like package this, uh, the, this retreat experience, and make it available to uh, parishes uh, outside of the area? Yeah, so we we talked about this a lot, uh, especially going through the Our Sunday Visitor Challenge, uh, which is where we kind of presented it back in 2021 and made a fi- you know made the finals as a, a great new innovative idea. Like how do you how do you expand it? And so we've, we've got some ideas on the horizon. Um, you know, we definitely want to do some um, kind of a live stream uh, as far as, like, anybody can go to. and It's kind of, like, available online. But it, it, we've also pitched the idea of creating teams that could, you know, do it in different places. Obviously, uh, we do it as a family, um, you know, so, it's, you know, we can only go so far and do so many in person. But if we can create other teams, you know, that would be something we've pitched the idea of doing. Um, and then we also, again, um, you know, along with that live stream, we we're creating a, a, a virtual version of it so that people can kind of do it and watch it anytime, at least online. Live is always better, but, you know, with technology um, to, in this day and age, we can utilize that to make sure everybody at least has access to what it is that we're doing. And, um, we're hoping that that'll take off here in the next uh, uh, year or two. Let's let's get into this uh, this book series, the Seven Deadly Dragons, uh, the Chronicles of Sir Roland Paterlot. And so you kind of already set the stage a little bit to, uh, talking about the the retreats. But tell me a little bit more why dragons. Uh, obviously, you've already given us a hint of why there's seven, and, and we can get into the names, colors, and images, and uh, all 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 of the details that surround this this series. Yeah, absolutely. So again, um, you know, we want to inspire kids and give them and give parents creative tools, innovative tools, you know, in the spirit of understanding John Paul II called the, the new evangelization, new in method, new in ardor, the same great truths of our tradition, but finding exciting and engaging ways to do it. A lot of kids don't like to be told, you know, this is right and this is wrong, but I've, I've yet to meet a kid that didn't want to be a dragon player. And so we 
you know, give them a visual. You know, my, my daughter is an excellent artist, and we she created the images of these seven dragons, which, which there's colors. So I'm actually an eye doctor. Uh, that's what I do for a living. And so the visible light spectrum, you know, there's seven basic colors, Roy G. Biv, at least that's what we learned growing up. So there's a red dragon, an orange dragon, a yellow dragon, a green dragon, blue, indigo, and violet. And they're based on the seven deadly sins. And so we wanted to give them a visual, a name, um, describe the dragon. You know, in my first book, um, you know, Ordinary Lives, Extraordinary Mission, I talked about five steps to winning the war within. And step two was you have to know your enemy. You have to know who you're up against. And um, even in, in spiritual warfare, when you talk to an, an exorcist, exorcist, for example, they'll say that, you know, one of the first steps is to get the demon to tell you its name, because if you can identify the demon, you can exercise it. And so in the same way, you know, kids face lots of obstacles in today's world, screen time and um, food and pleasure and um, just all kind of things that can tempt them, greed, you know, wrath, all these things um, that show up when symptoms in our culture. Um, you know, if we can teach kids at an early age to recognize these dragons and then teach them the virtues or the weapons, we call them um, the weapons of virtue that can slay the dragons, then they can grow up and live a life of virtue. They can make great choices, and, and all parents want their kids to be able to, to choose to do good things, to, to live a life of virtue, and we feel like this is a a powerful way to a powerful tool to help parents uh, do that because kids love the dragons they love to learn about them and once they have memorized them you know as a parent i could just say hey you're the red one's getting you or the yellow one's getting you and when they've they, when they've memorized these dragons that that's powerful because all you got to do is name it and they know how to slay it well a, a genius concept because i i think sometimes with the uh, the spiritual life i'm particularly when we're talking about vice and virtue there there's it's tough to put tangible a tangible image to it and and so you've done that here in the book but uh what who would you say the books are, are geared towards um how young uh I, and i'm suspecting that it Parents, grandparents, teachers, all will benefit uh, from from how you lay this out. But uh, those who might be thinking about uh, Christmas gifts, uh, who are these geared towards? Yeah, so the 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 geared ages are seven through twelve. And in fact, Sir Roland, which is myself, um, <laughs> is going through a, a, a dragon slaying academy, so to speak. The Woodshire Academy of Dragon Slaying is kind of how the story takes place, and he, he starts it starts in his second grade year, and we do give book one, uh, the Red Pride, to, you know, 3,000 kids, you know, the, the second graders we encounter, we, that's part of the retreat, because, um, you know, focused on that book is First Reconciliation and First Holy Communion, that's where he receives and, you know, defeats that first de- de- deadly dragon, which is pride, and then he goes through the academy, you know, up through eighth grade, and, and we actually want to build, you know, live, uh, you know, training guilds and teach uh, parishes and deaneries to do that with father-son guilds or mother-daughter daughter guilds. Um, and so we want to reach that age group, and it's, you know, it's a wide range. The, the stories are written around a fifth-grade reading level, but we really encourage families to read them out loud together. And we've heard from so many families all over the country, um, you know, that five-year-olds get this. You know, we, we've actually put um, multiple ways to, you know, the pictures, the images will capture, you know, all kind of kids. That'll, that'll get them intrigued. The storytelling, obviously, is a great way to teach virtue. And then we've also put QR codes in the books for some of the older kids, um, which gives them a little more deeper um, catechetical lessons to go deeper. And so um, we've heard, you know, you know, our, our five-year-old loves this, or we've even heard, you know, our teenagers keep listening in, or our 23-year-old likes this. You know, so we feel like it's a great family thing. It would be great for grandparents, parents, you know, anybody to sit around the fire, sit around, you know, in the winter, especially Christmas coming up. Uh, this is a great series to read out loud um, and enjoy the stories and talk about them together. Well, I, I love the, the the plug you gave there for uh, reading aloud a, as a family. I know there's uh, many families who have adopted that practice. And, and again, I think this is going to speak to a wide range of, of people. While it might be geared towards a specific audience, I think there's something we can all uh, learn from it and in, in, in gain in understanding the spiritual battle that uh, we are uh, very obviously engaged in or should obviously be engaged in. If we're not, these chronicles uh, of Sir Roland Paterlot, Paterlot will uh, help us. So tell us how we can get the uh, how our listeners can get the, the chronicles. Yeah, so just go to our website, ExtraordinaryMission.com. Um, it'll just kind of pop up right there. If you do, it's go to the website, ExtraordinaryMission.com slash 7 Deadly Dragons is actually the, the book's website. That's the number 7 Deadly Dragons. 
Um, but you can also get it on Amazon or anywhere you know books are, are sold. You can probably find it, but extraordinarymission.com is the best way to get it as far as the series. That's the best price you're going to get for the whole series um, is on our website, um, extraordinarymission.com. And so we hope, you know, like I said, everybody enjoys. And I, you know, I grew up in the 80s and 90s, so there's a lot of uh, cool references that the parents in, the, <laughs> in that generation, their songs and, and uh, uh, things, you know, song lyrics and things that will pop up that the parents will get that the kids probably won't even. But it, there's, it's a lot of humor involved, and I think uh, families will enjoy listening and reading these. He's uh, Dr. John Wood. Easy to see why he's uh, described as a highly engaging speaker and uh, his work c- continues to inspire uh, everyone, including uh, children, parents, grandparents, teachers. Thank you so much, Dr. John Wood, for joining us. The book is The Seven Deadly Dragons. I should sh- say the books highlighting the seven deadly sins as uh, as we all want to be uh, want to be dragon slayers. Uh, doctor, thanks for making time for us this morning. No, thanks so much for having me. It's been a pleasure. Listen to the Catholic Morning Show weekday mornings at 7 on the Iowa Catholic Radio Network, iowacatholicradio.com, or the Iowa Catholic Radio app.